you guys. Yeah. So, yeah. So this is my the algebra and equip introduction video. And uh, you don't you don't need to worth uh, know what I mean for who I am. But I uh, hope you guys can subscribe to my channel. Yeah. So basically, in the previous video, and I will post a link below. Basically, I I just quickly mentioned uh, what what is the group and what is the uh, why it's the, the representation, the irreducible representation of SQ2. So in this video, let's talking about uh, how to use uh, the algebra to construct a representation of SU2 and to basically give a very, very short introduction and the over over picture of this the algebra and the groups introduction. And I think the very good video, uh, sorry, the very good textbook is it is Hall's textbook, uh the the algebra and uh, its representation. Oh, it is so so powerful okay okay so uh yeah so most of them so this is just very quick introduction of the algebra so basically uh usually uh at least for a sim uh idea i was talking about semi-simple uh the algebra yeah so this will be a very long series uh so how long of it based on my uh uh, how much time I have. Okay, so let me just quickly uh, define the algebra. So the algebra is a vector space. So let's say you have a vec uh, vector space, let's say G, and then with a bilinear map from, uh, yeah, usually people use brackets. So G times G to bracket, G times G to G. So given to G, give you another G. Okay, such that uh, one is X, Y, equals to minus y x. Uh, yeah, so remember this is the vector space, right? So you should have a field f, uh, you should have a field. And uh, most of the case we work in r and uh, or complex number, right? So there, this is mine. So this minus sign is basically the inverse element of one in, in this field. Okay, and now we have the second. Second is the, uh, so-called uh, Jacob identity. So it's X, Y, Z plus Y, Z, X, uh, let me see. So X, Y, Z, Y, Z, X, and Z, X, Y. Okay, uh, yeah. This is called the Jacob identity. Okay, so let's quickly say some examples. So first example should be this. So this is so-called abelian Lie algebra. So abelian Lie algebra is basically all the bracket are zero. Okay. Uh, yeah. Second is that uh, if you work in a uh, three dimension and the uh, famous of a uh, bracket just defined to be the cross product. So given two vectors. Yeah, you can easily prove this uh, because you can easily prove uh, the cross product will become v u dot w minus w u dot v. So you can use this to prove the triangle, uh, the proof the Jacobi uh, uh, identity. Okay. Okay, the famous result is the matrix, the algebra. So consider n by n matrices with real numbers or n by n matrices with complex number. Uh, you can define it. Uh, you can define uh, AB of equals to AB minus BA. So basically, AB belongs to the matrix. So this is the matrix algebra. Okay, and let's define a homomorphism. Right. So as a groups, as the in the group theory. I mean, you know, group theory, ring theory, field theory, or whatever. You will once you define a, a object, you will define a you will define a two object, a uh, two the morphism between the two object, right? In the group is homomorphism, your ring is a ring homomorphism. I mean, the vector space of linear transformations. When you if it's too manifold, then you will see that it says it's a continu uh, continuous map. Right, so let's define a homomorphism. Right, so if somebody gives you a uh, two the algebra, let's say G and H, and uh, uh, phi, right? If I satisfy this, so uh, by the way, this is uh, this is should be a two vector space map, right? So this phi should be a, a linear transformation such that uh, any two bracket 
我要 preserve the large. Okay, so this is called the uh, uh called homomorphism, and then and also representation, right? Remember that uh, in the group G, the homomorphism G to GLV will be uh is the representation of the group. So now we can work in the algebra. So we can go G to this endomorphism of V. The reason is that in the group group theory that we have the inverse. Right? We have inverse, so I need to restrict it is to be uh inversible. But in this case, I need I just need to use endomorphism. Basically, it's all a linear map from uh, V to V, uh, such that uh, right, such that it satisfy the least property. Right? So such that it satisfy the phi. Uh, let's see. So X and Y. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I mean, preserve the. Uh, it's basically it's the Lie homomorphism. Let me just write down. So this as a Lie homomorphism of G and endomorphism of V. And for this endomorphism V, the Lie brackets, the Lie brackets defined at this part is just the matrix algebra. So uh, the, uh, let me just write down the algebra homomorphism. Okay, so uh, this is the represent, representation. So representation of the algebra. Okay, okay. And uh, remember that uh, in the previous video, I, I think I mentioned what, what the what is the relation between the Lie algebra and the Lie groups. Uh, you can view the Lie groups is manifold, right? So there should be some identity. Oh, sorry, it's a group, so there should be identity. So identity is a manifold. It's on the points on a manifold. Then you can take the tangent space. Sorry, right? So given the any for an identity, you can take the T, the tangent space. And uh, the tangent space at identity will have will become a uh, Lie algebra, right? So this is a vector space will be a Lie algebra. Okay, so this is why people can use the algebra to study Lie groups. So this this is uh, this M is uh, this is the Lie groups, the group, and then it's a uh, tangent space at identity will be a Lie algebra. So this is the relation. Yeah, this is the. The very abstract idea, right? So, in the previous video, uh, if you're working, let's say, uh, if you choose your Lie group to be also one that, uh, Owen, then you will get the, then you will get the Lie algebra is all the uh, anti-symmetric uh, anti-symmetry matrices. If you choose the S O N, then you will get the trace equals to one, something something like this. Okay, and uh, also some people will take talk about exponential map, right? But this is the, the other case that the other kind of different different point of view. And uh, also there's a view called the left invariant or right invariant vector field. This is another point of view. And I will uh, I will talk in the future, but this is just very introductory, right? So the idea is that, let me just write down the key fact. So key fact is that if you have a Lie algebra homomorphism, Right, so you can view this map from two Li sorry, two Li groups as a con I think it's a more uh, continuous map, right? So uh, or C infinity map. So you will introduce you will induce the the map from its tangent space. So if this is a Li group homomorphism, then you will you will give you a Li algebra homomorphism. And uh, yeah, so this row star will be the algebra of Okay. And uh, so so I, I I I didn't give the proof. I just say the fact. Proof will be the future. Okay. And also there's a theorem that I also got to will not to prove. I will, I will not prove. I just tell you the fact. So if G is uh, simply connected. And okay, so simply connected as means that in the topological space you can calculate a fundamental group, which is a trivial. So if G is simply connected, and connected, okay, so connected uh, means that it's only one connected component as a topological space. And then there will be one to one correspondence. So this is the famous Lie theorem. There's a one to one correspondence between the algebra homomorphism.
then you have to the algebra homomorphism from this corresponding to a Lie group homomorphism. Okay. And the proof is basically use the, the, the famous Ken, uh, uh, Ken, Kempel uh, Baker Hausdorff formula. And I will give the, the, the proof in the, I mean, I, I already proved this theorem in the, I will give the proof in a, a post proof link below, okay? Yeah, so let me, let me just quickly review some examples. So as I say, is that the famous is the most also going to group. Uh, right, it's basically, let's say you have ST, ST times S is identity. So this is transpose and then your Lie algebra will be the, uh, all the, I think, anti-symmetrized matrices. And then if you're working on the, yeah, you can, you can check by yourself. And so the Lie algebra G is denoted by a small O, right? So this is bad notation. This is the uh, large capital O, this is the lowercase O. Okay. Hmm. Uh, right, right, yeah. Sorry, just examples. Just one example. Okay, so let me just... Uh, Take a, uh, tell you why there's a, another a very important representation called adjoint representation. Uh, why, why can I just clearly write, write everything? Okay, so it's, let's define this to be, let's just write down the, so this is called adjoint representation, which is uh, the people's, it's the most important representation in the Liage. So how how do how do you uh, how do you construct the simple representation? I mean, from definition of the R. Right. So the simple definition is that uh, because you 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 have this right. So given x y, you will get get something right. So the simple representation is that uh, uh, you can define let's say as a joint representation. Uh, for each element g, uh, x on y, right. So y will be a the algebra g, defined to be uh g y. Right, this, this is a one, this is a kind of, this is a representation. Okay, so, uh, I mean, yeah, hope you guys understand. Yeah, this is defined to be at a joint representation. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so one one uh, quick exercise is to prove that this at joint representation is actually really a representation. Okay, so, uh, right, in order to do this, you need to, I think in order to do this, you need to show that, uh, you need to show the, uh, let's say dx1, x2, right? So D, A, D, x one x2 will be another object, another, well, the same, it's the same as uh, A, D, x1, uh, A, D, x2. Uh, yeah, so this is the, uh, let me let me quickly see that where I can, let, let me just quickly prove it. Right, so if AD, let's say AD GY will be uh, GY. Let's say uh, I, I do ADH, right? So I can, I think I can get the H GY. And I can use this uh, Jacobi, uh, Jacobi identity, uh, right? So to make this is minus G, uh, y h plus minus uh g i'm oh, sorry minus uh minus what so uh what so this is g y yeah yeah okay so y g h okay so i i change the i can change the the minus sign right but by uh I just change this HY, right? so G, G HY. My uh, plus, uh, let's say, uh, I change it into GH, Y. 
Uh, so this will be a this term will be a d g a d h y uh, plus a d g h y right so this h g g h will be uh oh sorry should be uh right so this is h h h right so uh a d h a d g minus a d g a d h should be the same as oh sorry there's a, this is minus right because i i ex, uh sorry i exchange these two uh sorry why oh sorry this is h g i'm stupid right this is h g right so uh sorry because you see y and h g right so this is h and g so this is if you exchange it, it become h and g Right, so and then you it's changing again, so this become minus, right? So this guy become a minus a d g h y or basically a d h g y. Oh, yeah. So this is the proof. Yeah. So basically, this is the uh Lie algebra representation. So given the Lie algebra, you can immediately construct this representation of that Lie algebra called a joint representation. And then if it's finite dimensional, okay, by the way, I didn't say what the finite dimensional means. The finite dimension means that uh, uh, your original the algebra as a G as a vector space as a dimension is the is finite. Okay. Okay, so uh, let me just uh, finish this video uh, taking, uh, talking about the, uh, uh, talking about the, uh, the standard results. Let me just prove, give a uh, quicker the proof of how to construct this at the joint representation from the uh, Lie group. Right, so suppose uh, I have a large AD, which is a uh, Lie algebra. So from uh, Lie group homomorphism from G to let's say uh, GL, uh, let's say, uh, let's say, uh, uh, Let's say GL, uh, let's say G, right? So G is a not, uh, so let's say, so G is a, another group. G is a, let's say from SON, and the defined to be, let's say, AD, right? So G, A count A, defined to be uh, G, A, G inverse, okay? And the, your, uh, uh, yeah, so this is, uh, okay, so this means that uh, I, I consider SON group. So in the algebra, so this a will be this a will be anti symmetric, uh, will be anti symmetrized, and uh, uh, and the anti symmetric and the trace a is zero. Okay. Okay. Now, now, uh, you you can check that uh, this small uh, adjoint representation comes from a differentiation with respect to this large one. Okay. So uh, you can so you will give the g. And go to endomorphism of this G by taking a differential. Uh, yeah. So let's say you you working on the curve. Uh, you're working on the curve. You say uh, you're uh, maybe uh, alpha of t from uh, minus one to one uh, mapping to G and alpha zero uh, is one. Uh, identity and the alpha prime derivative is basically this. Let's call it x. Okay. So now uh, your results will be uh, here, right? So let me just write down. So you, I think you just replace this g by uh, this alpha, right? So I think you get alpha of t a alpha of t inverse differentiation uh, with, with respect to t. Okay, so this is the common computation and the put t could be zero. Right, so first first turn, I think you get alpha prime of t, a alpha time inverse uh, plus alpha of t, a alpha t inverse the differentiation. And then for this part, you just need to use the alpha t, alpha inverse t will be one. And you do the differentiation, you get alpha prime alpha inverse uh, alpha alpha inverse prime which is one so which give you alpha uh inverse prime is basically so this is zero minus alpha prime alpha inverse 
uh, take our values. Okay, so if you put, okay, so let's let's just finish the computation, right? If you put t equals to zero, uh, this guy will give you g, uh, will, will give you x, right? So it'll give you x, well, a, and this will give you zero, uh, give you identity, right? Because alpha zero is identity. And this guy will give you identity, right? And then this guy will give you minus, minus identity, identity, a, right? So it'll give you x, so a. Right, so this is the standard computation that uh, your your larger this this larger a d this conjugation. Uh, so if you're just using conjugation as the as the homomorphism, then the they give you the endomorphism. The the differentiation give you the adjoint representation. Okay, so this is just and the previously that I just check uh check for you that uh, this is actually the league. Algebra representation. Okay, so yeah, in the next video, we still do the introduction and I will construct a representation of SL2C. And uh, and I, I still, yeah, basically, let me just write down the fact. So in the previous day, that one can use SU2 to construct, one can compute uh, given the proof of the S, all the irreducible representation of SU2 mm -hmm. by defining something like on polynomial, right? So you can take on its, uh, basically, you can take on its Lie algebra. And I think you will get something called SL2C. Right? So you can give an, uh, you can use algebraic to find all the irreducible representation of SL2C. And I think you will see uh, the, like the wild symmetry rule system and other uh, interesting fact in the proof of SL2C. So basically, and uh, you will, uh, since SU2 is uh, simply connected, so irreducible representation of the algebra can be exponential map into the representation of the groups. So you can see there are many, many uh, interesting facts. Okay, so see you guys in uh, the next videos. Bye-bye.